It's November 4th. Just got set up for the afternoon hunt. We're hunting our local property here in Central Maryland this afternoon, overlooking this big pasture. Got a finger of woods we're sitting in. Last couple of days, the bucks have been cruising this hard. Uh, we got a big eight and a big nine pointer we're in here after, and a pile of does on this property. One of those come out early enough and we get a shot, we might take it just to do a little more management before the rut gets into full swing here. So we're gonna get settled in. Hopefully have a good afternoon and see what unfolds. Well, what was looking to be a good afternoon ended pretty quickly. We had a uh, big eight pointer and that tall six working their way right to us through the bottom here. And until the neighboring people decided to walk down to the property line, making a bunch of noise and ran both deer out of here. So we got a, about an hour. I uh, don't know how much else we're gonna see, but we're gonna hang in here, hope for the best and fingers crossed something pops back out. Well, the afternoon certainly turned around compared to how it started. We uh, had a couple of those worked their way down the field not long before dark, and sure enough, right behind them, that eight pointer was on their tail. I shot him for 20. He ended up being 24. I ranged after. Um, I, I thought he was right there at 20. I hit him low. I don't think it was a lethal hit. I watched him just kind of walk across the field real slow. Um, fortunately, not long after that shot, that tall six came back running a doe right down the middle of the field. And uh, I guess that buck wasn't hurt bad enough because he took off after him. I guess it pissed him off at that six pointer is running, running a doe. And he took that doe from him, run that six pointer off. They did a circle, came right back in front of me, 25 yards. I let that second arrow go and that second one cooked him. It, uh, it snapped off about six inches from the fletching. So, you know, over 20 inches of arrow. Went through that deer right there behind the shoulder. There's a bunch of blood on the ground where that arrow snapped off. Uh, I lost him probably about 60 yards after that, but he didn't look too good. His, his tail was tucked, it was flickering. He was getting lower and lower, um, but I decided to back out how much energy that deer had. I didn't want to go risk bumping him. So we're grabbing dinner. We're going to give him probably an hour and a half to two hours, and then we're going to make our way back in there nice and slow and hopefully get our hands on him. We got him. He ran about 150 yards. He was dead on his feet. He's uh, cold. I gave him an hour and a half just to be safe, but we uh, didn't want a chance bumping him. He's He's big. He's bigger than I thought he was. His body's giant. It's going to be fun getting him out of here. But we found him. What looked like a crappy afternoon turned out to be a really good one. So, Nice eight we've been watching. That's the second shot. First one was low. Inch or two below the heart. But that second one hit it 
right where it needed to. We'll get him gutted and get out of here, but we got a big buck down in November.